Hello everyone and welcome to my new video and what is this video about? Well, I'm going to make some hardcore kick drum samples in pretty much no time at all just using Ableton stuff, um, a little bit of procedural sound design and a complete flippant disregard for human life. I'm going to pull in the kick drum, uh, DS kick drum thing and run it through a crap load of saturators and, and make it go poof. But I'm also going to kind of mutate it slightly um, using uh, a few other things. I've slightly stolen the idea for this video from one of my patrons who showed me this and I was like, right, that's my next video right there. I did talk to him about this the other day and he seemed quite consenting to me doing this, so that's all good. So if you're into hardcore kick drum music and you're looking for ways to gather some fresh assets, maybe you might find this quite useful. Right, let's get going. So let's pull in the DS kick drum. Yeah, uh, let's make a clip here and let's just put that in there. Let's say that's one bar, okay. Okay, I mean, that's nice, but it's not, is it? So, um, okay, let's start with um, the saturator. Let's put in the saturator. Well, actually, first, let's put a limiter in there because we don't want to blow up the entire universe. Let's get saturator in there. Let's turn the sat drive up on the saturator. There we go. Wow. Oh, my goodness me. Ow. That's, oh, my goodness. Right, okay. So, that would maybe, that's, let's come down to minus one on that. Still, really goddamn loud right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to basically mangle the saturator using the expression control so let's put in the expression control put that before the kick and let's set all of these to random because we're just going to go random let's set them all to random let's random the crap out of everything in this video right so let's start by randomizing the algorithm and the base let's see what that gives us yeah that one, not so good. Christ. Turn, turn the soft clip on. Wow. <laughs> this is, that's so loud. Uh, let's maybe come down a bit on the saturator. Let's come down to minus six or something like that. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, go over 50% on the dry wet. Let some of that original kick goodness come through. Oh, that was good, yeah. Okay, um, let's also mangle some of the stuff on the DS kick. Let's map to the decay and let's map to the envelope uh, just to change the character of the kick drum a little bit. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Let Bloody hell, right. Okay, so let's maybe not have the decay modulate too much. Let's say modulate it from zero to 50%. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's, um, let's put another saturator in there. Come on. It's Thursday, right? Okay. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do that again. Yeah, exactly the same thing. So we'll map to the algorithm or the, the wave type, and then we'll map to the base. See what we get then. Oh, and let's maybe set this to minus six, which is some terrible gain staging. Anyway, let's, what have we got? Oh, yeah. Yeah, some of them won't be so good. Oh, I like those ones. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's, um, let's drum, drum bust it. Let's put the drum bust on and let's just do that. Um, what are we at here? 43.3 hertz. Why don't we type that in there? 43.3 hertz, which says it's F. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it says it there as well. F and F. Let's add a little bit of boom. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. This is very aggressive. Okay, let's um, let's now EQ it like a complete twat. Let's get the EQ8 in there, and uh, let's get in another let's get another expression control in, and let's completely mangle some of these EQs here. Um, let's turn that one off. Let's go for two, three, and four, which are using whatever that one is. The mouth looks like a mouth. <laughs> okay, so let's set these all to random, and. Let's random the crap out of this EQ. Let's start with band two 
and we'll say map to the frequency. Let's whack the gain up and we'll just set the cue to something like something like that. Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do uh the same Christ. Let's do the same for uh for band three. Band three, we'll do we'll do band three now. Let's put the frequency put the gain up and set that to <laughs> what was that okay and then let's do bloody hell let's do band four as well let's put the gain up oh that's not the map oh, there we go look at these funny little little hills okay Whoa. Okay. Ow. All right, we're getting somewhere. Oh, that one was very good. That one was not nothing. It was no, no, sometimes it's going to do nothing. Uh, okay. Oh, I didn't turn the drive up on this saturate. these different cues. Wow. Let's go go for a one point let's go for a one point five Q on it on each of them. Let's see what see what that does. Yeah. Fucking hell. Right, okay, let's um let's resample these now. Let's uh let's give this resample channel a name. Let's say um a uh, hardcore kicks, hardcore kicks, and we'll um, set it to resampling. And I was just wondering if there's anything else that we could do. Mm, we could maybe put like a tiny sp splodge of reverb on there in here, really low down. Let's say fifteen percent. Let's turn the size all the way down. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. I want my mummy. Okay. Uh... Okay, that's good. So let's resample that and uh, see what happens. Some of them will be good, some of them will be terrible. Let's watch it go. Look at that, isn't it? Oh. So yeah. I'm gonna turn that down. So yeah, this is kind of how I like to relax and unwind after a long day, you know. What's that one there? That's nothing. What was that? <laughs> Whoa! Or maybe I should have turned soft clip. Yeah. We can actually, whilst this is happening, I'm going to apply. I'm going to apply a little bit of slew, a bit of rise and fall to the frequencies. Let's just go with the rise. Let's give it a 25 millisecond rise, so that they'll sort of slide very quickly to their new values. Can you see that? They're sort of sliding. <laughs> Maybe 25 was a bit fast. Let's try 10. <laughs> There's some goodies in here. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. The reverb just makes it scream a little bit. Some of them sound like a mic stand falling over. How many have I done? Oh, wrong one. This, this one. Okay, I'm going to go to 127. Isn't this the best video you've ever done? I could do something whilst it's... You do this attack a little bit. That one's alright. Whoa. I think I'm getting a bit aggressive with the Q here. Maybe bring some of these Qs down. Okay, we're getting close to 127. Better think about stopping soon. Obviously, some of those were cack, but some of them were smack. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice these to a sampler. 194, no, not by transient, do it by bar. There we go. 128 slices. Boom. Let's go. Slice, 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 slice. So now we've got these all uh, sliced up. Let me just turn my push on. And let's have a listen to some of those. So now you just kind of you set your you set your BPM. What's the bottom? Two hundred and forty, and then you get your you get your arpeggiator. Plonk that in there and just hold some notes. Not not that fast though. Most something like this. Actually, let's pull in the beat repeat. Um, right, it's, I, I, I don't know why anyone would want to do this, but let's, let's pull in the beat repeat and maybe just use this to do a little bit of uh, variation here. Didn't I do a video like this about 10 years ago? I can't remember. Um, let's set the interval or something. <laughs> Turn the hold on so I don't have to actually hold the notes down. Well, 
that's obviously very silly. So I'll just turn those off for a second because um, now that these are all sliced, although we were recording it, what were we recording at? I mean, it was, must have been like 120, 120 BPM. Yeah. So if we go back to 120 BPM um, and it, we could actually resample these again, but we could apply a reverse, uh, a forwards, backwards um, uh, sustain mode to all of them so that they, say, they play forwards and then play backwards. <laughs> Like that, which is kind of nice. Oh, a little pop there. <laughs> yeah, so some of them backwards. Uh, in fact, let's just listen to some of them all backwards. Let's put the sustain mode forward and just hit reverse here. Yeah, some of those sound pretty cool backwards. Yeah, that's... That's nice. Uh, there's, there's a little bit of click and pum, not sure what I did there anyway. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Yeah, this is some interesting sounds here. Yeah. That's good. I like that. So those are little, little things that you could just drop in to move from one section to another. If you're not into making, you know, hardcore Gabba or whatever, um, you could just kind of use little things like that to just join sections together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right. So, um, but let's go back to... Um, carried away so uh, if you're into things like that <laughs> we all are every, every now and again aren't we so there you go there's a very fun way to make hardcore kick drums in pretty much no time at all just doing this uh, i'm gonna go and put this on my patreon now uh where if you would like to support me you can download this set plus many many more and get involved in all kinds of fun things to do with music both with myself and other people in the future so have a fun uh, hardcore thursday evening and see you next time